Once upon a time in the projects. Cardboard condo, homeboy and a homemade bungalow. In the middle of the end of the day, in one way T-Rex, don't need the kids. Go for the lawyer. He in the porta potty. Oh, I can't believe it. Ain't a perfectly good toilet. Oh, the horror. Very good. I'm home. Where you been? You know, at my weekly meeting of Women United to Save Our Projects. What's up? Oh, yeah, well, my fort is empty. What's up with that? We're trying to find a location where we can build a rec center. You know, a place for the kids to go and have fun. Shh. You feel that? Feel what? Thurgood is just the movie. No. Look. Thurgood, the ceiling's leaking. <clears throat> what the hell, bitch, Cleaver? Uh-oh. Muriel, hold down the 40. I'll be right back. There's a leak in my apartment. So go my underwear. Sure it did. Hmm. Yeah, super. My son is leaking. Yours too, huh, Hudson? Yeah. I, I, I'm getting all wet. Go move out of the way. If I could move, don't you think I'd be at the Dairy Queen? Water. Leak. Ceiling. The touch and rubble. Top floor. At least you gotta be coming from this place. Wait a minute. Who live here? I've never been to this apartment before. That's because this tenant never complained about nothing. Hey! Open up! I'm your new best friend! Hello? Get about a home? Uh, uh that, that was broken when I got in here. Uh, whoever's here. Uh. Yes, my name. How long has this water been running? Mm -hmm. Okay, people, shall we get started? Have a seat, please. Come on, have a seat. All right, hey, I said sit down. All right. <clears throat> we are gathered here today to bury one of our own. What can I say about the deceased? Uh. Hmm. He was, uh, five foot six and, uh, weighed 155 pounds and had no distinguishing marks or scars. My God, his liver weighed a pound and a half. Oh, that's serious. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, which one of you ladies want to come up here and do the honors? What? Well, I'll do it. Oh, <laughs> Don't take him, Lord! Don't take him, Lord! I can't live without him, Lord! Oh, Lord! No! 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 All right. Plan him. <laughs> Mir, are you okay? I was fine till I saw B.B. lose it. <laughs> Muriel, you throw the best funeral parties. Back in Haiti, the deceased is raised from the dead and does most of the work. Well, I enjoy doing it. Okay, but I offered. Hey, look what I found. Give me that. Kevin, you're not grown. Don't be finding things. Hmm. It's a will. The last will and testament of Hilton Jacobs. Hilton Jacobs? Now, where the hell I heard that name? It's the name of the building you never fix. Hey, no, that ain't it. Yes, it is the name of the building you never fix. Hilton Jacobs. You telling me the builder of the building lived right here in this building? Let me see that thing. 
Ah, Hilton Jacobs being a sound mind and uh, blah, blah. Come on, let's get to the good stuff. It was during my years with the CIA, blah, blah, blah. Bay of Pigs was actually a blah, blah, blah. And James R. Ray did not yada, yada, yada. Uh, oh, here we are. And having no heirs, I leave all my worldly possessions to whoever finds it will. It's a loot nighter. <laughs> Or I'll blow you straight to Jesus! All right, people, please, please, let's show some respect for the dead. Now, this man hasn't been gone 24 hours. Very good. Where'd you get that watch? Uh, uh, hey, everybody, look. Look at this place. Wow, it's huge. <gasps> you could talk a thousand people in here. Yeah, it's like that sneaker factory back in Korea. Man. I wish my family had this apartment. We'd be living large. You see, y'all shouldn't be living any larger. Okay. Then who should live in this apartment? It's customary for the building superintendent to decide. Shut up, Sam. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, speak up, Sanchez. The superintendent has the authority to select new tenants in cases of... All right, now shut up. Y'all all heard what came out of Sanchez's neck? Get a place to me. I've been here the longest. Hey, you ain't got but three months left, and we ain't moving you in just so we can move you back out. Huh. You know, Thurgood, if you let me and Jimmy have this place, I could, uh, make it worth your while. Oh, for Christ's sake, B.B., are you coming on to me? Now, see? See, now you tripping. I would never do that to my sister. Did he go for it? He was. Friends, friends, Thurgood can't do anything until he first goes to HUD. Muriel's right. There's a very elaborate HUD procedure for situations just like these. It's not like I can just hold a lottery or something. Hold a lottery? Next! All right, everybody, we're having a lottery. Now, whoever's name I pull out of this hat gets the apartment. Muriel, my chateau. How do we know you two ain't in goods? You could be a couple of flim-flam artists as far as we know. Well, all right, then. You, you pick the name. Oh, no. I played the big horn. And I pulled this game on a couple of pigeons in St. Louis back in 38. We went by the names of Fat Annie and Big Wally Bix. Just pick the name, you crazy old loon. I don't hear all that mess. I gotta sit here and listen to all the... <laughs> I don't want to hear it, Mary. I gotta sit and listen to all this crap. Just pick a name. And that wasn't them trick names you got on the string, neither. Oh, my grift ain't what it used to be. Oh, <laughs> not another stroke! <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Thurgood, it's us! Ah, Jerry Springer. Thurgood, what are you doing in that get-up? Like it? I found it in the closet. And I found these in the bedroom. Meryl, I tell you, this guy had class shooting out his ass. Is that how he died? You know, Muriel, I'm really proud. I scrimped and saved my whole life to afford a place like this. Thurgood, we pull names out of a hat. And whose hat was that, Muriel? Whose hat was that? Hmm? <laughs> God, I love this place. Look at the view. This must be the most desirable apartment in town. Look, from up here, you can actually see where the city services stop. They're good. What is this picture doing in the trash? It's just not us. They're good. It's our wedding picture. If you want to get rid of something, you do get rid of that chair. Hey, this chair ain't going nowhere. Goody, I was thinking. When we took this apartment, we may have ruffled some feathers. We got ruffles? No, but we could have some. At our housewarming party. You know to make our friends feel as welcome here as they did at our old place. I think that's a great idea. Now, who should we put on the A-list?
You need to invest your money. Now, Muriel and I, we play the market. The Korean market's got your best lotto. Very good. Could you come in here? Coming, darling. I got one word for y'all. Quick picks. Mm -hmm. We take off our shoes here at Thurwood, so if you'd please be so kind. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Avery, please, uh, you can keep your shoes on. I ain't wearing no shoes. And no bloomers neither. We'll walk on the hardwood and sit on the plastic. Very good. That's no way to speak to people. And I want you to make these folks feel welcome in our home. <laughs> well, all right. Hey, Thurgood. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? Yeah, i would be doing a lot better if you take your drink off my platter of the platters. And please use my coaster of the coasters. Were you raised in a barn? No, a whorehouse. You, you know that. That's right, that's right. <laughs> hey, get that off of my chair. Hey, what are you boys doing? You know it took me years to mold this seat to my butt. Sorry, Super. I was just sitting. You crazy boy. You ruined my lazy boy. Look at it. Look at it. My ass ain't gonna fit there no more. Thurgood, don't talk to the boy like that. What's gotten into you? Looks to me like bougie fever. Oh, bougie? Bougie fever? You call me bougie? Where's my ski pole? Uh -huh. I'll throw out of you. Get, get, get your hands off me, Muriel. Nobody call me bougie. Muriel, what is bougie? It means you think you're better than other people. Who in hell, bougie ass child? People, we don't need to be treated like this. Let's go to my place. I take figure skating. You heard the hey, lady, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. Wait, don't leave. He didn't mean it. Please stay, okay? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hi, B.B., I baked you a cake. Let me guess. Pineapple uppity side down cake? B.B., I'm still the same sister you grew up and shared a bunk bed with. Yeah, and as I recall, you on the top looking down on me. B.B., do we have to talk through the door like this? Wait a minute. You're having a what's up meeting. I don't believe it. Suddenly, just because I live up, I'm not down with what's up. Yeah, peace in the middle. I can't believe this. We haven't changed. We drink the same brown tap water as everyone else. But if you all don't want me around, I guess I'll just go. Hey, what about your dudes? <sighs> I feel refreshed. I don't know how I got along all these years without a bidet. What are you doing? I'm packing. I want us to move back to our old apartment. But this is our dream home. But Thurgood, we're completely isolated. Our friends think we're bougie, and they won't even come by anymore. Exactly. This is our dream home, Muriel. Thurgood, I can't stay here. I'm going back to where we come from. Africa? Yes, Thurgood. Africa. <laughs> Can't believe me, you left. I mean, I understand her leaving me, but this palace. Well, I guess I'm better off alone. More, more space for me. Me, 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 me. Hey, here's Echo. Echo, 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 Echo. Why? Third good, great. Hey, Walter, what you doing down there? It's me. Yeah, yeah, they're good. How the third, right? Yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's a funny one. <laughs> well, listen here, Lovey left me, so I'm calling to see if you want to come up here and have a little poker game, huh? So why not? Three o'clock in the morning. Oh, if that is not the lamest excuse, fine. I'll just find some new friends. All right, Tony, are you a dealer? You a dealer? Yeah, I thought you was off that poison. I'm just networking. Okay, the game's not based far with a ghost town. Since I kick when I jack, slow spaded the hell, follow that bitch, and no sticky picky mother of us. <laughs> what for you? <laughs> what for you? That's what you wanted, right? Give me those cards. I'll deal. Five card draw. Smokey, what you got? Uh, what is it when the cards talk to you? Time to double your bit. Tanya, how many you need? One plus one, Mother Hubbard. 
All right. Prove Paul and Little Richard. Okay, pay a queen. What you bet, Smokey? Mm, I'll bet Super's wallet and, um, I'll raise Super's wristwatch. That be those! All right. I fold. I guess I'll have to take off my pants. Oh, this ain't no strip poker. No, no, no. I lost fair and square. I want your charity. Game on! All y'all get out right now! But I had Michael Valentino and Jermaine! What? Jacks at five! Get, are you get the hell out of here right now! Go! It's true what those play haters say. He is Bougie! There before the greater crack go I. Heroin sheep, my arm. Muriel? Oh, get some dirty dishes. Man, I got a big butt. Piglet, that's my honey. So good. Oh, Tigger, please. So good, Orenthal Stubbs. Awaken. Uh, what? What the? Uh, that's my soul train. Who the hell are you? What are you, a ghost? We prefer apparition American. So good. I am the spirit of Hilton Jacobs. I built this project and then hold myself up in it for 40 years. Wow, that's really sweet. No, it is not sweet, so good. It was wrong for me to stay up here, away from my fellow man. Do you know why I wear these chains? Well, that's one of them security chains, isn't it? I got one on my leather jacket. Silence! Darko, you can't live up here alone. You need the people of these projects, and they need you. Hey, I don't need Jack K, all right? You're wrong, Thurgood. Take my hand. Hey, I don't know. That don't seem right. All right, then. Grab my chain. Ooh, can I? <laughs> Behold. Is this, is this a vision of things that are yet to be? No. This is what's happening now, because you're spending all your time in your deluxe apartment in the sky. I, I, I. She hasn't moved in a long time. Hey, Mrs. Avery! The living can't see or hear you, Thurgood. What are y'all looking at? Mrs. Avery? Oh, no, not again! I'm surprised it didn't kill me. Hey, why don't you just show me something with my wife Muriel in it? All right. I'll show you how things will be if you insist on living this life of isolation. Now you're talking. This is going to be great. Please, please, please let it be miserable. Yes, I'm grateful you've chosen my novel for your book club, but I can't come on your show again. Oprah, no. Oprah, goodbye. Oprah, goodbye. Whew. What the? I can't believe this. Muriel's actually a success without me. Well, I tell you, if that ain't the final kick in the butt. He said before he saw. Well, not a champo, lover. What the hell is he doing here? You better not touch my Tegrin. Come here, my Spanish fly guy. Oh, yeah. That Latin cattle no one. I'm getting Cuba good and ready to kick it behind, I tell you that. It's not his fault, Thurgood. Someone had to comfort Muriel. You locked yourself away in that ivory tower. It's up to you now to figure out what to do. I have given you the key. Yeah, that's just what I need now, another key. I have faith in you, Thurgood. You do the right thing. Wait, wait! Hey, Spirit, I don't know what to do! Spirit! Damn! Why must I always give the impression I'm smarter than I am? Spiro! Oh, who was that ghost trying to tell me? Do the right turn? Do the hustle? God, I got the attention span of a... Hey, look, a dime! Hey, who threw this out? Oh, yeah, me. The new me. The old me would have never turned his back on Muriel. This place has caused me nothing but trouble. Doing up there. He 
making enough noise to wake the dead. And you have to be union to do that. Who does he think he is? People have to work in the morning. Yeah, someone here got a job? Let's go break him off something proper. I'll get my cow full of oranges. They won't find a mark on it. Bougie man, come out. Come out with your nose in the air. I heard all the noise. What's going on? <laughs> Goody, what are you doing in there? Muriel, is that you? Yes, Goody, I'm here. Oh, Miriam. Oh. Miriam. Miriam. Oh, Miriam. I spent a lot of time alone and thinking, and I didn't care for either. But let me tell you something, Miriam. If this penthouse only makes people hate you and turn their backs on you, then I am getting rid of it. I take I I now, hold on, hold on. I ain't giving it to nobody. I'm giving it to everybody. It's not going to be a pool hall. It's a rec room, a rec center, a recreation facility, if you will. What's the difference? Just get your ass for Simpson in there and have some fun. You kids want to play some pool? I never played before. I'm sure you can beat me easily. Okay, the game is cutthroat eight ball. The lady breaks. Only a blind man and a poor man can't play. If you're poor, please step away. This is wonderful. Well, Muriel, I just wanted to show you I wasn't always thinking of myself. And I'm still the same humble man that you married. <laughs>